Good day, my wonderful, beautiful people. Well, today is rainy Saturday and the weekend is here, so make it the best. Um, use your time wisely. Tomorrow's not promised to any of us. So, Halloween is around the corner. And for those that don't know, Halloween is actually truly the celebration of the dead. Our ancestors and the spiritual well. Um, you here on this third dimension need to prepare yourself and cleanse your home and get yourself on point, okay? So be careful what energy you put out. Be careful what you think about, what you focus on. Don't focus on debts. Don't focus on bills. I mean, if you must think about the debts or bills, think about you prospering. And how you're going to get those debts and those bills taken care of. Not the negativity or the scarcity of not having the money to pay them. Because that energy you put out is the energy that will definitely come back. So focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Okay? Um, cleanse your homes. Sprinkle salt in the corners if you need be. Or buy the selenite stone. Remember I was telling you about the selenite on my last video. Selenite is for cleansing. For those that have um, allergies to incense, you can use selenite to bless the corners of your home by tapping each corner. Or salt, sprinkle just a little bit of salt at your front door and your back door, your entrances and the corners of your home. Okay. Um, or you can do it with sage or Florida water. They're very inexpensive ingredients that you can do it if you need any problem if you have any challenges or you have any questions please feel free to inbox me and I will tell you how to do that okay um, there's been a lot of negativity been going on lately with couples friends relatives and because Venus is in retrograde it's not direct so in Venus being in retrograde can also be positive where you can get to learn and love yourself more so be inner love self-love okay so I just wanted to reach out to you guys, um, you know, protect yourselves, get your stones um, or your crystals that um, connect with your, with your, your sign, um, Leo, Scorpio, Aries, whatever your sign is, so, or Taurus, there's, there's stones. So um, if you have any questions about that, let me know what your sign is and I will tell you what stones that you connect to your sign, okay? Um, so just basically just stay positive. You can celebrate Halloween. Don't be scared. <laughs> but um, if you want a protection stone, once again, get the Shungite. Or get yourself a Moldavite if you don't um, know. and Or you can get yourself a Black Tourmaline for protection. When people challenge you, just don't give it energy. Don't give it energy. It's not worth it. I just saw two people behind me fighting for one lane and the guy was determined not to let him over and the guy was determined to get over it's too much road out here to be fighting over space it's just too much road if they're in that much of a hurry they're not balanced their chakras are not aligned they're in another world so don't focus on that focus on what you want your mission and just don't give it energy just hit your brake a little bit back off and let him do what he's going to do because you'll get there. It's better for you to get there in one piece or in an accident hurting yourself or someone else. Okay? Which will make your weekend not that great. So, in closing, I wanted to send you all love, joy, and happiness, and posi pos oh, positivity. Oh, my goodness. Tongue tied. I want to send you all love, joy, happiness, and positivity and healing to you all for all those that are having issues with their family or their friends or not in balance with who they need to be or want to be and sending them wonderful healing vibrations and love and energy. I say, I say, I say, I say, some more to be, some more to be, some more to be, some more to be. All right, guys, much love to you and happiness, love, joy, and happiness. Oh, in close, before I close, I forgot the 555 method worked for me. Okay, it worked for me continuously for the past week. Okay, so it took like a week and a half for it to manifest. But the 555 method has worked for me and it is still working. So remember, write 55 times something that you want to accomplish 
okay? 55 times for five days, or you could do five times for 55 days, but I like to get it out of the way. And when you write this affirmation that you want to accomplish, make sure you're feeling the energy that you have already accomplished this affirmation. So you can put, thank you for my infinite abundance and for me getting this new car. Or thank you for my infinite abundance for me to get my debt paid down. Thank you for my infinite abundance for me to get this new job. Thank you for my infinite abundance for me to take a vacation. Thank you for my infinite abundance and for my soulmate. Okay? I'm telling you, don't sleep on that 555 method. It really works. It rewires your mind, your subconscious mind. God has given us tools and knowledge to help ourselves. So, or the universe, whatever your belief is. So use it to your advantage, but use it for good. Okay. And I just want to tell you, oh, I love you. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that button down there. Hit that bell. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to inbox me. Love, peace, and happiness.